Hey everyone, welcome back to the Remote Professional Network. Today we're going to cover three certifications that you can obtain that will help you either land a job or advance your career. All of these will apply to remote friendly career paths as well. But before we get started, we have a question for our viewers. What country are you guys viewing from? So the reason we're asking this is we'd like to get a little bit more specific in job leads. So if you can comment below, let us know what country you're, you're uh, watching from. And also if you subscribe, we're very active in our community tab. And we also post links to jobs there throughout the week that we do not make videos for. So they are exclusive jobs that are posted inside our community tab. So thank you and let's get started. Number one, the Salesforce Administrator Certification. With this one, there's so many paths that you can go down with Salesforce certifications as a whole, but the entry level one is called the CRT 101. This puts you on the path to become an administrator. So for our international community, this is also a fantastic option as well. As we can see here, there's demand across the globe um, for Salesforce professionals. This one is just highlighting as a whole. So this could consist of administrators, developers, um, and other you know project managers and analysts. So pay attention to that. Look at how many opportunities there are. Definitely a lot of growth. And the exciting thing about this one as well is they're all high pay opportunities. Rarely are you going to see globally a low paying Salesforce position, especially when you have a certification. All right, and it looks like this year they're expecting about 500,000 new jobs to open up. This is definitely a verified number. Companies are, so many companies use Salesforce, especially when you get to the bigger ones. So this is a great path to go down, whether you're in the United States or you're located globally or internationally. So as a Salesforce administrator, you essentially manage the day-to-day -day tasks of the CRM, which stands for Customer Relationship Manager. It's, an, it's a computer program that you use inside your business to kind of track all the data and manage your customers and clients inside one system. Being a Salesforce administrator does not require any coding. If you advance into some of the other paths they have, so for example, um, the Salesforce developer, consultant, architect, uh, sometimes designer, and also sometimes an analyst, these positions can require coding. But if you go down the path of Salesforce administrator, uh, marketing, or even add it to a sales job that you currently have, you should see a um, salary boost and career progression, but they will not require coding uh, requirements. Okay. And again, the administrator path itself is not really even super technical. What you're going to be doing is called low code or no code. Um, formatting and management. So if you go into the system, a lot of what you'll be doing is creating pathing for things to work and managing the data and making sure that your team is, is kind of up to date on trainings and things of that nature. So a few stats about a Salesforce administrator. Currently the average salary is about $91,000. We saw that on the intro screen there too, just to kind of verify that. There are going to be about 48,000 new jobs, and that was verified in 2018. I would venture to say that that's going to be about the same in this day and age, too. Um, not, it, Salesforce has grown even bigger since 2018, and lots of these positions have moved remotely, too. And in addition to that, Salesforce has become far more global since 2018 as well. So you can expect this job to grow pretty significantly. In addition to that, they have about a 400% annual growth rate. I'm going to guess this went down a little bit, um, but you're still going to have, there, there are quite a few opportunities out there for anybody um, looking to get into this field. The average entry level salary is $79,000. So if you're asking why does this say 91,000 and this is 79,000, when you first start out, this is what you can probably expect about. And then maybe two, three, four, five years down the line, 90,000 plus. Um, I can tell you from experience, I have two Salesforce certifications. Early in my career, I worked in sales operations and I got my CRT 101 certification, which is the beginner administrator certification. And I also have my ADX 201 certification, which is the advanced administrator certification. So 
you can get an entry-level job with the CRT 101 certification. If you want to hit this 91,000, you will have to get the 201, which is the Advanced Administrator Certification. And if that's sounding intimidating to you, it's not going to be. Once you actually get into the position and you get the um, 101 certification, you're going to know so much more and you're going to be working with Salesforce every single day. And the 201, in my opinion, was actually easier because I had so much more experience working with Salesforce. Um, that's just my opinion. If somebody out there has other experience, um, drop it below. Definitely let us all know what your experience is and that would help everybody here. All right. In addition to that, the certifications that I got, they definitely gave me a boost in my income, opened a lot of doors for opportunities. I was my entire business unit's subject matter expert. So if you can become an SME in your company or your business unit's uh, Salesforce instance, you will probably see a little bump in salary as well. And in addition to that, like we said before, Salesforce administrators are in very high demand. We can see some postings here. Uh, they're not remote, I know, but you can see just how many opportunities there actually are um, on a you know a basis right here. Um, I receive at least one message per week on average from recruiters on my LinkedIn page, uh, which I cannot share as I am employed full time right now. So I apologize for that, guys. <laughs> the one caveat that I would put out there um, for this uh, certification, you can kind of find yourself in a chicken or the egg kind of situation. And what I mean by that is most employers will want to see real world Salesforce experience and the certification. So a lot of times the question becomes, which one do I aim for to, you know, obtain first the real world experience or the certification? My opinion specifically on the CRT 101 certification is just get the certification. That way, when this opportunity arises that you can work on a Salesforce related project, you're ready to go. You know how Salesforce operates and whatnot. And I say this because the CRT 101, it's a low investment. And right now there's so many opportunities to work with Salesforce. I believe once you get that uh, certification, you're going to have a lot of opportunities that come across your path where you can get that experience and then eventually land a job. So again, specifically for the CRT 101 and probably even the 201, um, if you don't have real world experience, I would get both of those. Um, I, I think I think getting the real world experience after that will be fairly easy uh, if you're if you're dedicated to getting this position. OK, and another thing that I would throw a little bit of caution out there, too, as well, is that these numbers are for a Salesforce administrator. There's also a position that is pretty popular called a junior Salesforce administrator. Typically, you might start out and you might find yourself in a position like that. There are still a ton of jobs and opportunities. I would estimate that the salary is probably going to be about $10,000 less. So I would give you a realistic salary expectation to start out in your average entry level salary, probably about 65,000 to 79,000 coming in as an entry level person who doesn't have much real world experience and the certification. If you have the real world experience and the certification, you can expect 79,000. To 91,000. Um, I am heavily involved in the Salesforce community, and I would say too that this is going to be much higher further down your career path. If you just stuck with being a Salesforce administrator, I, I believe you can probably hit about 130 to 150. Um, if you become, you know, a subject matter expert and really uh, get deep into the Salesforce world. Number two, HubSpot Academy certifications. We're not going to cover a specific certification here as there are so many certifications that you can obtain on HubSpot Academy. Just so you know, HubSpot is a CRM just like Salesforce. It's pretty popular. You'll probably see it used more in the startup world or smaller businesses. It has a pretty robust free version and that's typically why you see it in those um, smaller companies. So HubSpot is incredibly well known for their education certifications. You might have seen them around if you have a LinkedIn profile, you might have seen them around a quite a bit, decent amount. Realistically, these these certifications probably won't get you a salary increase. But if you're someone that hasn't had much luck uh, landing an interview and your resume is getting rejected, adding one of these certifications could land you a job and definitely help you get some more attention on your LinkedIn profile, too. So these would be great 
Additionally, for folks looking to transition into a new career, I have a few friends who are teachers and I always put them onto the Salesforce certification we covered before or these HubSpot certifications. So once you complete a certification, you'll actually get a badge which you can put on your LinkedIn profile and recruiters, some of them will search for these badges specifically and they will find your profile via that. And it's also good just to kind of uh, build up your LinkedIn profile, fill it out a little bit more, and also being able to put a certification on your resume may boost you up. Number three, Microsoft Excel certifications. If you're someone who's looking to land a remote data entry job, stick around for this one. This is another great one for global viewers as well. Um, Excel is a global app application. It's used in almost all levels of business across the globe. So this one has high pay potential as well, regardless of where you are in the world. But again, verify in your specific area and country. Any position that really works with data will almost certainly be using Excel at some point. So knowing how to use it will you know, it'll greatly separate you from other employees. So to start off, you don't need to go crazy and spend a money, uh, spend a ton of money on training. Just head over to LinkedIn Learning and you can actually get a free month of access to some of their trainings that they have. And you can also add the certifications of completion to your profile for recruiters to see again, similar to HubSpot certifications. If you're looking to land a data entry position, so you can stay off the phones. You need to invest in mastering Excel. Like 99% of data entry jobs will be performed using Excel. And if you have this skill, I would be shocked if you don't land almost every data entry job that you apply to. Okay, so I can't guarantee that, but I would be shocked. If you're somebody that can use pivot tables, VLOOKUPs, um, if you have a little bit of SQL experience, you're, you're gonna land every single data entry job that you apply to. And in addition to that, Please note that data entry is not the same as data analysis. I see that getting mixed up a lot on some of these other job posters, uh, YouTube channels. They are not the same at all, okay? So definitely verify. If you see a job that requires SQL, you're gonna tend to, you can assume that that's going to be a data analyst. If you see someone that's just entering data and you're entering that into a spreadsheet, that's probably uh, more data entry. Okay, and beyond that, uh, you know, almost any job you perform will use Excel at some point, even if it's not a data entry. So again, if you master Excel, you'll never be without a job and you can easily cross into six figures with just this skill alone. Um, if you are already great with Excel, take it a step further. And I would suggest learning some SQL or SQL as some people call it. Um, you know, people cringe at both phrases, so don't worry. Um, <laughs> SQL is a coding language and it's used to manage data. It's one of the easier language to, languages to actually pick up and learn. So if you're worried about you know being super technical coding and whatnot, it's really not the same as a lot of the other languages. So uh, you know it, it's pretty easy to pick up in my opinion. If you're brand new code and brand new to coding though, don't get frustrated when you're learning this. It's again you're brand new to this and you're gonna get better. Keep trying. You'll pick it up. And I do want to just. Uh, make a reminder to anyone watching out there. The purpose of these certifications are to teach you a skill. So don't speed through them to just get the certification. The thing that will help you most in landing a job or getting a pay raise will be your ability to showcase your skills. So if you rush through these, just so that you can get a badge in your LinkedIn profile, um, you know, you won't be as skilled as someone who took their time and dedicated themselves to learning. So that wraps it up for us guys again we are not affiliated at all with any of these certifications uh, on this channel we're a small group of remote professionals that have worked in the uh, remotely for about 10 years and we have each obtained one or more of these certifications ourselves and we can vouch for their effectiveness all right so that's why we picked these ones we'll have links below for you guys to go into or you can feel free to just google them they're pretty easy to find as well but again subscribe join our community we post more resources we're going to have a lot of updates coming soon exclusive job openings and another big announcement that we'll probably make about next week so again take care we'll see you next time 
and we hope you uh, subscribe to the Remote Professional Network.